One of Carl Halverson's grandsons, Lyle Halverson, spent most of his younger years living next to his grandfather, Carl. Lyle's dad, Jack, was one of Carl's sons and raised turkeys on the east part of the Halverson homestead. At the official Carl Halverson tribute gathering held on Labor Day weekend in 2015, on the original homestead, Lyle said his grandfather's storytelling abilities were very impressive. I was fortunate on all of his grandkids just because I lived here where we're at right now for a period of my life and most weekends I spent over at the farm and, and my, our cousin Dale also. And, but every morning at six o'clock, you know, you're 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 years old, you'd hear daylight in the swamp, you had to get up. You know, so we'd get up, go downstairs, sit around the coffee table, start drinking coffee, Grandpa would start telling stories. And man, I wish I could have all them recorded because when he, we would talk about the 1800s to the 1918 fire to John Dillinger days to the modern era. I mean, and what made it so unique was when he told a story, he knew the temperature if it was raining or snowing, it made you feel like you were there when he told that story. And he would start these stories at about 7 in the morning, and they'd go on till like 11 in the morning. It'd be three, four hours. And, you know, if a guy knew then to record all that stuff, it's, a lot of it's history. Lyle also talked about a trip he and other grandsons made to the Boundary Waters with Grandpa Carl. On this particular trip, Lyle said his grandfather did something that underscored Carl's outdoor survival skills. Back in 1945, Grandpa had an old coffee pot in a frying pan. He was illegal beaver trapping up on the Bonnie Waters. This is back in Depression days. Bob Coleman and I believe would fly him in, or Fred. I don't remember which one. They're no longer with us. But back in 45, Grandpa took a frying pan and a coffee pot and put it between this little rock cliff. Well, it was 1976 we were up there. And Benny and I and Gramp canoed to North Lake. And Gramp says, all right, portage right over here. So we landed a canoe. Walked about a quarter mile. Gramp reaches in that rock, little rock cleavage and pulled out that coffee pot and frying pan. It had been there for 31 years. That was pretty neat. You know, I mean, I know Benny still has a coffee pot. He does. If you're going to rough it, if you need a coffee pot, you need a fry pan. You need a coffee pot and boil water. You need a fry pan to fry your meat or whatever. Them are the two most essentials. He's carrying a knife on him. I mean, Grandpa Carl was an outdoorsman. You know, I mean, he's the icon, you know. And, yeah, I, you know, I, Dale and I talk about how fortunate him and I were to grow up out here because it was the ultimate. And Lyle said he believed the most important gift his grandfather Carl passed down was a never give up spirit that Lyle believes exists in all of Carl's descendants.